Top 10 highest dividend paying stocks out there, guys. That is what we are talking about here today. I went ahead and I went through the entire S&P 500 and I found the 10 highest paying dividend stocks out there in terms of the yield they will return to you as a shareholder, guys. Um, I hope you really enjoy this. It took a lot of work to kind of go into this and look at all these different stocks. I'm gonna share all the stocks with you in order, starting from number 10 all the way down to number one. And I'm also gonna explain kind of their business model, what those businesses actually do. And hopefully this is a good starting point for some of you guys that wanna get into uh, some dividend stocks or are looking for a dividend stock or maybe just want to build a dividend portfolio and are kind of looking for some stocks to want to look into and whatnot. So hope you guys really enjoy this. In order to make this list today, you had to pay out at least a 5% yield plus, okay? Um, some of these stocks pay 7%, 8%, even a, we have one that made the list that was a close to a 10% yield, guys. So we are talking about some massive, massive dividend yields out there. So hope you guys really enjoy this today. I thought it was an appropriate video after yesterday's video about building out a large dividend portfolio. Portfolio. Thought it'd be interesting to kind of go into some stocks that are kind of the biggest dividend payers out there in terms of the S&P 500. Now, if you're a little confused, or you're a little, you're kind of a little new to the stock market. Basically, if a stock has a 5% yield, once again, all these stocks have a 5% or more yield. If a stock has a 5% dividend yield, basically what you would get, if you had a thousand dollars invested in that stock at a 5% yield, that basically means you would receive $50 in dividend payments per year. That money would just go into your account. You could pull that money out and you use that money to spend if you want. You could reinvest it back into that same stock, a different stock, whatever you want to do. If you had $10,000 at a 5% dividend yield, you would get $500 in dividend payments per year. At $100,000, then you're up to $5,000 per year in dividend payments. And remember, you're doing nothing. You're just receiving this money for, for basically no work at all other than the initial research going into that stock. It's a beautiful thing. Now, where the numbers start to get really fun is once you reach about a million dollars, a million dollars and a 5% yield, you're getting $50,000 thousand dollars per year in dividend payments guys and at ten million dollars you're receiving a half a million dollars per year just in dividend payments to do nothing but hold a stock guys it's a pretty beautiful thing now one risk factor i want to give you before we get into today's video and get through all the 10 of these stocks i just want to explain to anybody that's confused about dividend stocks, just because all these companies that we're gonna go through today pay these current yields out, or you know have these current yields going and pay this, this total amount out, it does not guarantee that they will into the future. They do now, it does not guarantee it. So I just wanna explain that to you, uh, everybody out there, like a company can cut their dividend if they want. It's not a guaranteed thing. So all these stocks we're going through and, and looking at what they pay now, it doesn't mean they have to pay that. On the flip side, some of these stocks could actually up their yield even more next year and you would actually receive even a bigger dividend payment than what we have going on here. So hope you guys really enjoy this. Hope you get a lot of value out of it. It took a lot of time to go into all these. Hit a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get into this. Alrighty guys, coming in at number 10, this ticker symbol is PM. I'm gonna tell you all the ticker symbols as well in case you guys wanna do more research on these stocks. But coming in at number 10 is Philip Morris International. Through its subsidiaries, manufactures and sells cigarettes and other tobacco products. Its portfolio of brands comprises of Marlboro, Parliament, Bond Street, and a bunch of other you know different brands out there. Um, basically a cigarette company at the end of the day. That one has a yield of 5.13% there on that one. By the way, real quick, let's just address cigarette stocks. A lot of people are anti-smoking and that's fine. Um, you know, and some people will say, oh, I can't hold a cigarette stock just because it's a cigarette stock. Sometimes, you know, what you could do is if you, you you know, if you feel pretty comfortable that people are going to continue to smoke and continue to uh, waste their money on cigarettes, if that's how you feel, you could take those dividend payments and go in, a, you know, invest that money into um, some anti-smoking legislation or whatever you want to do, like, or, or education for younger generations on why they shouldn't smoke. Like, you could do whatever you want with that money, um, you know, that's paid out in the dividends. But coming in there at number 10, coming in at number nine here is ticker symbol NLSN. This is Nielsen Holdings, together with its subsidiary operates as an information and measurement company. A lot of public companies use Nielsen numbers in, in some of their data. I know Monster, one of my old investments, they would use the, their data all the time tracking energy drinks and different products like that. It operates through its buy and watch segments. The company provides media and marketing information, analytics and manufacture and retailer expertise about what and where consumers buy, read, watch and listen. The buy segment provides retail transaction measurement data, consumer behavior 
your information and analytics primarily to business and consumer packaged goods industry. You can continue to read through that all uh, if you want. It's a great research company at the end of the day and a tons of public companies and private companies use their data to make judgments on new products or services they want to come out with or how they're doing in the industry, all right? This one pays a 5.1% dividend yield currently, okay? Like I said, all these are 5% plus, so a very nice one there. Coming in at number eight is ticker symbol P, PL. This is company is PPL Corporation. It's a utility holding company that delivers electricity and natural gas in the United States and United Kingdom. The company operates through three segments, UK regulated, Kentucky regulated, and Pennsylvania regulated. It serves around 411,000 electric and 326,000 natural gas customers in Louisville and adjacent areas in Kentucky, 525 customers in Central, Southeastern, and Western Kentucky, and approximately 28,000 customers. The company also provides electric delivery services to approximately 1.4 million customers in Pennsylvania and operates an electric distribution network in the United Kingdom as well as natural gas to customers in Kentucky as well, guys. This one pays a 5.25% dividend yield, all right? All right, guys, coming in at number seven is ticker symbol HCP. HCP Corporation is a fully integrated real estate investment trust. You're going to see a few of these really high payers are actually REITs, okay, which basically means you got to pay out at least 90% of your profits or your, excuse me, your 90% of your net income actually out to shareholders in the form of dividends. They invest in real estate serving the healthcare industry in the United States. HCP owns a large scale portfolio primarily diversified of life sciences, medical office, and senior housing, all right? This one pays a yield of 5.61%, all right? Big one there, all right guys, now let's start getting into the big, big payers. All these next ones are 6% plus, all right? Coming in at number six is ticker symbol T, which is AT&T, which provides communication and digital entertainment services. The company offer, operates through four segments, business solutions, entertainment group, consumer more mobility, which most of you guys would know it as, and international, all right? The entertainment segment provides video entertainment and audio programming channels to approximately 25 million subscribers, internet services to 13.5 million residential subscribers, and and uh, obviously a lot of you guys probably know them from the mobile communication side. Some of you guys might have AT&T for your cell phone service if you live in the United States. Um, generally speaking, most people either have AT&T, Verizon, or T-Mobile out there. And uh, AT&T, so ticker symbol T, they pay over a 6% dividend yield, 6.08% dividend yield currently. They've been a big dividend payer for a long time. You look at their dividend track, you know, history is amazing, amazing, all right? Coming in at number five is ticker symbol F, which is Ford Motor Corporation. They design, manufacture, and market, and service a range of Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs, all right? That is their main business, just an automaker, one of the biggest in the world. They currently pay a dividend yield of over 7%, all right? So now we're, now we're getting in the top five. All these are 7% plus payers now at this point in time, all right? Coming in at number four is ticker symbol IRM, which is Iron Mountain Corporation which is a global leader for storage and information management services trusted by more than 225,000 organizations around the world with a real estate network of more than 85 million square feet across 1,400 facilities in 50 countries, guys. Iron Mountain Stores protects billions of valued assets, including critical business information, highly sensitive data, and cultural and historical artifacts, providing solutions that include information management, digital transformation, as well as data centers, cloud services, art storage, logistics. Iron Mountain helps customers lower cost and risk, comply with regulations, and recover from disaster, all right? Uh, and this one pays a 7.3% dividend yield currently. Just absolutely massive, guys. These dividend yields are crazy. Coming in at number three is ticker symbol KIM, Kim, which is Kimco Realty Corporation, which is a real estate investment trust. This is another REIT here, which is headquartered in New York. This is one of North America's largest publicly traded owners and operators of open air shopping centers, okay? So think about a lot of the different uh, shopping centers where you might be, uh, you know, we might know them as outlet malls 
and things like that. As of June 30th, 2018, the company owned interest in 460 US shopping centers comprising of 79 million uh, square feet of leasable space, guys. Absolutely massive amount there. And this run currently pays a dividend yield of over 7.4% right now, all right? Time for the top two, guys. Time for the top two. Coming in at number two is ticker symbol LB, otherwise known as L Brands, which owns some very popular brands that a lot of you guys might know. Victoria's Secret, Bath & Body Works, a pink brand. They also own some smaller brands that they're actually trying to get rid of right now. One of them they just did recently. They have a massive amount of stores, 3,000 plus stores across the United States and some other regions. They're expanding, trying to expand big into China right now. This one has a dividend yield of over 8%, okay? 8.1% right now, guys. It, it, you know, these are some massive, massive dividend yields. I mean, imagine having, uh, you know, a $10 million in that stock. It, you know, as long as the stock can just kind of stay stable for a long time, you know, 10 million, you get $800,000 in dividend payments per year, all right? The last one coming in at number one is CenturyLink, which provides various communication services to residential, business, wholesale, and governmental customers, primarily in the United States. It operates through two segments, business and consumer. Um, a lot of you guys might have CenturyLink for either your internet or you might have CenturyLink for your, your cable reasons or something like that. They provide a lot of different cable channels out there. And CenturyLink is number one because their dividend yield is nearly 10% guys, 9.82% to be exact, almost a 10% dividend yield. Absolutely massive there guys. And those are the 10 highest dividend yields I could find possibly out there in the S&P 500. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope this is a good starting point for some of you guys looking more into dividend stocks and kind of thinking about dividend portfolio in 2019. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. Hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and have a great day.